Ellen's rough. That's Ellen rough is like one. an old. But it's a rough one now. It's a rough one now because she was running Abu Ghraib in the back of her show. <laughs> That's a rough one. Dude, I talked to your buddy Eddie Bravo, and that guy is a real... He's out there. He's like a ja He's like a deaf, like a deaf Jack Russell almost, you know? A deaf Jack Russell? Yeah, because once he gets going, you can't... Oh, Jack Russell Terrier? Yeah. You ever been around one of those dogs? You open the car, and then the next thing you know, they're at the... Yeah. They're like sick, yeah. But well, how's he deaf? Because you can't get him back. Like, once he goes, you can't... <laughs> You know what I'm saying? You can't get him back in the car. <laughs> He's a deaf like you're Jack sitting there honking the horn. You can't. That guy's out there. You know what I'm, you know what I'm talking about? And on the way home, we got on the bus. And while we were waiting there, my stomach started hurting. And I said, Jesus Christ, I don't know if I'm going to shit myself or fart, but let me just take a chance. Mm, good and, move. And I blew this fart, Joe Rogan. That was so bad, <laughs> right? We were on a bus and people started running, you know the school buses? People started running to the windows, right? To swing down the bus windows. But here's where it gets better. I fought it again and the teachers were going, oh my God, he's changing flavors. But the worst, <laughs> but the wor flavors. But the worst thing was uh. the cheerleaders were crying. That's how bad it smelled. <laughs> they were sitting in front of the bus going, <laughs> Wait a minute, he's changing flavors. One of the teachers yelled out, uh, oh my God, he's changing flavors. <laughs> that's how bad these farts were. I won't, I won't be allowed, and that's okay too. Because I Maybe they will let you back on. I would imagine not. I violated some safety protocol, I don't Which, know. Which uh, protocols? The safety one. Which one is the safety? The one where you can't threaten <laughs> to burn down people's homes, I think. <laughs> I spoke to my lawyer. He said to just leave it alone. <laughs> my lawyer was like, just leave it alone. He goes, I don't know what you're doing. I'm like, I'm in a, a high octane war with a few desert lesbians. Few desert, <laughs> there's two desert dykes that are gunning for me. And I'm going to fucking keep, I'm going to ride this till the wheels go off. And my lawyer's like, hey man, what are you doing? This is a crazy picture. You in your underwear with a tiger on a chain. That is, that is one of the, that's the that champ is right like, there. that's you at peak crazy. Yeah, insane. Yeah. Tom, what was going through my mind? Yeah. I don't know what made me think about my friend said, Mike, you can get some awesome animals. And I'm saying, really? Are you serious? My, my, father's friend, my father's friend, he was sleeping. His wife said, you have to go to the dentist. He said, why? He goes, the, your breath is so out of control. And they've been married for 25 years. So he goes, Jesus, all right. So, so, so check this out. This is, so apparently... He had an abscess, a sack of bacteria in the back of his mouth. Oh. Well, when they, when they, I guess, took the tooth out of the filling out and they popped by accident the sack, the nurse threw up <laughs> and the fucking dentist, and the dentist walked into the room at that moment and pulled his mask off and threw the fuck up as well. No, yes. no. no way. <laughs> It was a double vomit fest. Can you imagine? And that was so bad. <laughs> yeah. So did, did she puke on him or she what? Puked did she, would she get a talk? She didn't puke on him. She just puked. Went. Uh. Did they pop the sack? She went. Uh. And the dentist walked in and, and went. He had his mask on. He went. He, he got the. He uh. got his mask off just barely uh. in time. Went. Uh, like that. Oh it was my that God. bad. Yeah. Oh my. That bad. Not that, a good like. We should do a flamethrower. So we. Does anybody tell you no? Does anybody go, Elon, um, maybe for yourself, but selling a flamethrower, the liabilities, all the people you're selling this device to, what kind of unhinged people are going to be buying a flamethrower in the first place? Do we really want to connect ourselves to all these potential arsonists? Yeah, it's a terrible idea. <laughs> terrible. <laughs> Shouldn't buy one. I, don't, I said don't buy this flamethrower. Don't buy it. <laughs> don't buy it. That's what I said. But still, mm. people bought it. Yeah, There's nothing I can do to stop them. Yeah, it's, you I build it, they will come. I, I, tr I said, don't buy it. It's a bad idea. How many did you make? You, it's dangerous. It's, got, it's wrong. <laughs> don't buy it. And still, people bought it. I just couldn't stop them. How many did you make? 20,000. <laughs> <laughs> and they're all gone. In three, I think four days. <laughs> but it sold out in four days.